Gang, what up? What's the vibes? It's Coach Davis back with another fucking video. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. In this video, I'm gonna be talking about semen retention and jealousy and how to deal with the motherfucking shit. You know what I'm saying? I hope I can help you motherfuckers out. I hope you have a blessed day. I hope you attack the motherfucking day and don't let nothing fucking bother you. Make sure you go throughout, throughout your day and you always in your bag. Always, because guess what, motherfucker? You doing something that nobody else is doing. I'm here to motivate you. I'm here to motivate you. It's a great fucking day. Shout out to everybody that's still on the journey. And fuck all the haters, because the haters gonna watch anyway. You know what I'm saying? They waiting on you to fail. <laughs> so keep proving them wrong. Keep showing them that it's not gonna happen. You enjoy the fucking day, you heard? Salute. There's one thing you gotta fucking understand as a man and get through your fucking head, G. It's gonna be niggas that's jealous of you for the rest of your life, whether you're on this journey or not. Everybody deals with hate, G. Everybody. There's people on my channel right now watching all of my videos for one reason. They, they looking for flaws. They waiting for me to fail. It's seam retention channels and health channels. When they relapse, they be crying and shit, mad at they self. And guess what? You know why people watch those videos? You know why those are the top ranking videos on YouTube? Because people enjoy seeing you hurt. They enjoy seeing you fucked up. Why you think I knew to do that bait video for y'all? Because I knew that, yes, yeah, it's, it's, some, it's some G's on here that support me. But it's a whole bunch of other sucker motherfuckers that's waiting on me to fail. Why? Because most men live their life for a bitch. Most men can't even live throughout their whole day without knowing that it's a bitch that they can fuck and control her life. They need to know that they can control a woman, but they don't have no self-control over their own fucking life or their own self. You have to understand that, G. And when they see you come around and they see you always doing your thing, you know what I'm saying? You always on your shit. You know what I'm saying? You're not living for no bitch. You're living for yourself. It's going to be people that hate you for that and not understand that. They're not going to understand that, especially if you're a young G. You have to understand that you got to move on with your fucking life, man. Stop worrying about what people think about you, G. Why do you care? you a grown man. you a grown man acting like a female worried about what another person think about you. Fuck hate. You're going to deal with it, G. It's okay. If anything, hate should make you feel good about yourself because hate is another form of admiration. That's all that is. It's just that these motherfuckers don't know how to show admiration because they're in their lower chakra. They're in their lower frequency. They don't know how to show love because they don't show they self love. It's not personal. Stop taking everything personal. It's not personal. It's not. Nothing is personal. Any way somebody feels about you is how they feel about they self. It's not personal. It's not hate. It's not hate to you, it's hate towards their self, so they reflect it and they show it to everybody else. It's not personal. I'm here to motivate you. This is what I'm here for, this is what I do. If you don't like how I talk, then don't watch my fucking videos. I'm here to motivate you and tell you like it is, like a grown man, G. One of my favorite coaches. If you're from New York and you're from the Bronx especially, you know what I'm about to say. You know who I'm about to mention. One of my favorite coaches of my entire life was Coach Mike. That motherfucker would curse you the fuck out if you was on some bullshit. And he would curse you the fuck out even if he fucked with what you was doing. But you knew it was all love and you loved him for that. You loved his energy because he was giving you his all. He wasn't putting on no fake funny facade for you. Because he didn't give a fuck what you thought about him. He was going to tell you what he thought about you regardless of how you feel. And that's what we supposed to do as men. Tell me how you feel. Tell me. I want to know, and then you supposed to be the same way. Are you supposed to want to know how I feel? This is how we supposed to be as men, G. We supposed to be supporting each other. We supposed to be here for each other. I just woke up this morning, hella fired up, and I said, you know what? I'm going to motivate my Gs. I got almost 350 people waiting on me to post some shit. You know what I'm saying? So there's no way I'm going to fail, G. I got people that's depending on me. I got a son that's depending on me, man. Ain't no way I could fail. And I'm depending on myself. And now working for God on a daily basis, every single day, I got God depending on me too, so it ain't no way in hell I'm gonna let him down either. I got a job to do. Whether you like the job I'm doing or not, that's not my concern, because I'm a man and you a man. Move on with your fucking life. 
Some people you see in your life, they temporary. Some people you may see for a couple months or a couple years. And then when you grow in your life, you'll never see them again. Never. Some people you come across one day. You might be on a train. You might be walking. You might see them that one day. And guess what? They never, you're never going to see them again. So if you live your life, if, if I'm 23, right? And I see one person out of my whole 23 years of living. I see one person that I don't like. I'm going to sacrifice my whole 23 years for him? How stupid does that sound? You got to think about that. Why are you worried about one day? You got your whole life ahead of you. Don't worry about the hate, G. I'm going to keep this video short because I'm about to go on with my day and attack my fucking day. I may hit another video tonight for y'all. But this is the video. See more attention and hate. You know what I'm saying? That's how you deal with the motherfucking shit. You don't pay it no mind. If anything, you smile on the inside. Because you know he really admires you. And he really probably wish that he could be you in your shoes. So you just say a prayer for the motherfucker. You heard? That's how you get through your shit. It's Coach Davis live from Brooklyn. Brooklyn! Motherfucker. Enjoy the rest of your fucking day. You heard? Salute.